that he has so long enjoyed were it not for the fact that he was surrounded by remarkable women. They raised him from the man he was to the iconic Scotsman whose poems have run down the ages. He held women very dear to his heart and looked at them as a source of, of comfort, as a source of inspiration, a source of strength. None more so than Burns' only bride, Jean Armour, which of course Kevin's alluded to, and in fact there was two sets of twins before their wedding, a total of nine children in all. Back in Burns' town, a woman could serve as a chief of the clan and enter into battle. A woman could divorce her husband if he failed to support her or treat her with respect. She could leave him if he was fat, a snorer, or just plain repulsive. So it's pretty sure, it's pretty clear who was making the calls in those days, wasn't it? Understandable why men agree on to the demands of our women, though we have understood women's actions. Let me tell you why. Never, never understood them. Well, shopping, for instance, is a good example. Why is it that you find when you're looking for the, you, you go looking in the first shop, but spend another three hours visiting every other shop before you go back and say, I'm not going to live to this? Parking. Why are you so bad at parking? Now, I say this with some hesitancy. Be careful, Pete. I, indeed, I, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm realizing that. Um, yes, but um, apparently men have more, have more or better special awareness than women. Fine, fine, fine. Sounds like an excuse of just your parking. Anyhow. Isn't it true that whilst we love ladies, which man has not had cause to curse them at some point in their life? Be honest, be honest, be honest. They infuriate us with what we see as a lack of logic. They astonish us as they ch can change their minds in an instant. But above all, the maddening thing is what we go along with what, whatever they say, because we adore them. I won't do anything to please them. Well, we'll this yeah, those, 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 those ladies like their husbands, you need to go home and have another good look at him. How well Burns knew this. And he wrote, to see her is to love her. And love her but forever. For nature made her what she is. And never made another. We men must acknowledge that we will never, ever be in debt to the fairer sex. We will always be in debt to the fairer sex. For it is to you that we owe everything. Our wealth, our health, and our happiness. And Burns knew what we were, that we were never going to match up to you at all. So gentlemen, here present, I'd ask, please ask you to stand, raise your glasses, and drink the toast to the last, to the last, to the last.